This tutorial was developed to provide you with the step-by-step -step instructions you'll need to successfully incorporate the Elcometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge into your daily activities. We'll demonstrate batching operations on your gauge in this section. The memory and storage capabilities of the Elcometer 456 are perhaps its most important features. By creating batches on this gauge, you will be able to separate and segregate your readings into meaningful collections that will simplify your work processes. In this section, we'll discuss the 456's two modes of operation, immediate mode and batch mode, the similarities and differences between the two, and the safe operation of each. Immediate mode is best used when the memory of your gauge is clear, and you are obtaining the profile of extremely large areas. Batch mode allows you to collect your readings in organized groups. By naming your batches, you can also designate and save calibration adjustment methods for future use. To set up batching on your 456 top, select data from your gauge's main display. While this next screen presents many options, Let's select Open New Batch for now. Before we set up our new batch, perhaps this is a good time to discuss the significance of CAM or Counted Average Measurement. In CAM, readings are taken in preset groups, rather than singularly. As this measurement method has become standard practice in many industries, it is important to understand its significance. In order to illustrate this principle, Let's take a look at the drawing of a sample profiling area on the next screen. CAM is very useful when determining surface profiles over very large areas, perhaps this small scale illustration will bring its true value to light. Look first at the five reading points in this area. Calculating the average profile using the normal mode, we would have four measurements, essentially within plus or minus one percent of each other with the fifth being relatively high, perhaps high enough to claim its place as the highest reading within this batch. Using CAM, however, the four nearly identical measurements would work to counter this high reading and offer a truer quantitative value for this region. When opening a new batch, you may toggle between normal or singular measurements and CAM by selecting the folder shown along the bottom of your display. You'll notice that this batch was created using CAM, with N equals 5 displayed. Once CAM is chosen, you may select how many readings will be contained in each group by using the up or down arrows. If you wish to use the SSPC 2004 calibration method, the preset for counted average is 3 readings on the 456 top. After successfully setting the CAM method, the data symbol changes on the entry screen, as well. The same data screen that allowed us to set up our new batch will also allow us to review any existing batches contained in the gauge's memory. Use the arrows shown in the center of the bottom row of the display to move forward or backward. In this tutorial, We've reviewed the successful operation of the Elcometer 456 top dry film thickness gauge. We welcome your comments and suggestions regarding this presentation, and encourage you to voice your opinions by emailing sales at elcometerusa.com, or by contacting your local sales representative or distributor directly.